Do you see the array of colours here? Oh, like this video if you love a pop of colour, because I certainly do. Hey my beautiful hands, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to day two of my spring summer edit week and today we're talking all about accessories and how to elevate your spring summer wardrobe. So I hope you guys are all doing well. If this is the first video from me that you're watching, my name is Belle Michelle. I mainly do videos around fashion and travel, but then I sprinkle in a little bit extra anything else I want to talk about, whether that be vlogs or just general chit chat life videos. I'm hoping by the end of this particular video you're convinced to subscribe. Actually, in fact, I think you're really gonna enjoy this video, so just click the subscribe button right now and make sure you click the bell button that's next to it so that you have your post notifications turned on for me so that you never miss an upload so in case this is the first video from my spring summer edit week that you're stumbling across what it is is basically a week here on my channel where I'm uploading every single day everything to do with spring summer fashion and everything else in between so I also have a video on how to make more money in spring and summer and a lot of styling tips and just everything spring and summer because it is definitely my favorite fashion season my favorite traveling season it's just it it's my favorite everything when the sun is out when the weather is warm a smile is on my face and it just elevates my mood and I think it does that to everyone anyway so in yesterday's video if you haven't seen it already I'll leave it in the um, I card at the top but I spoke about the pieces that you need in your spring summer wardrobe if you were starting all over again or if you just don't know where to start at all so following on from there today I'm going to talk about the accessories and specifically I'm going to be speaking about bags and shoes because I think those are two items that can take your outfit from a five or a six to a solid ten sometimes even a fifth 15 out of 10. So I think I'm going to start off with shoes. So there are a lot of shoe trends uh, this spring and summer. I think one of the biggest shoe trends that you probably have seen and has been spearheaded by the Valentino heels, you know, the ones that look like the Brat dolls. No, those aren't the Valentino ones. The Valentino ones, actually they both look like Brat doll heels, but it's the, actually the Versace platform heels. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen them on your favorite bloggers and your favorite influencers. And I'm sort of, I'm happy and I'm not not happy that platforms are back I'm happy because they're super comfortable shoe I'm not happy because if you have bigger feet or wider feet like myself platform heels just make your feet look bigger and look longer so that's like the downside but I think it's just a testament that literally fashion always comes around in 360 because I remember when platform heels were in when I was in I think sixth form which was I can't believe it's been like 10 years no it hasn't been 10 years just under 10 years but I remember I was working at Dorothy Perkins and a lot of the shoes that we had were platforms I remember my mom had like a collection of platform heels so the first pair of heels that I think you definitely need in your spring summer wardrobe for 2022 is a pair of platform heels so I have these ones here so they're these platform heels and I recently got these from River Island and they were quite Quite inexpensive now they have this full wooden detail going on but the thing I love about this is that they're very casual but you can probably take them from day to night if you're on holiday now I will say with these the one downside is that when you're looking at some of the construction it hasn't been made that well so for example I think I might just have a faulty one but like there's a bit of you can see the glue dripping down which is so bad but compared to the designer ones, these were £50 and I think the Versace ones are in the £1,000 mark. Now, because platform heels are such, they're a trend piece right now. Unless you're someone who you know, even when these are out of trend, I'm still going to wear, want to wear them. They're not something that personally, at my current tax bracket and my current income level, I don't want to be spending £1,000 in them. Whereas when it comes to the £50 mark, I'm happy with that. But I do love and adore and there are a lot of dupes as well. Well for those style of heels but also I think these as well if you have a bigger foot just sort of they're just a bit nicer pair them with like one of your raffia bags and you're good to go for spring and summer River Island also has these other platform heels that are in this lovely gold metallic metallic and gold and just like those really disco night fever type shoes are really in ASOS also has this beautiful gold platform heel that is all the shoes that I'm talking about now, I'll make sure I link in the description bar below. So make sure you click on there. The next heel type that I think you need is the unique shoe. Or I was looking at the Vogue Spring Summer 2022 trends list and they actually called this the devils in the detail. And it's basically these unique, sh these shoes that have a unique heel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think the pioneer of this trend is the YSL Opium heels. So they're those really, really uncomfortable heels that have the YSL logo as the heel. Now you guys know I have them in the slim back version. I 
I don't have them to hand but I'll put a picture of me wearing them and I love those shoes and they are so much more comfortable than the sandal version but since they have become quite popular you have other brands that have done something similar so you have Fendi that have like the F I know D&G has something similar as well and you also have some high street versions there is a I think it's Sophia Webster she has a unique heel some of her heels have like these butterflies some of her heels there's one that has like a flamingo and I think they're really lovely and similar version to the YSL um, opium sandal heel but a lot more comfortable I did try them on um, in a Sophia Webster store and yeah they're a lot more comfortable the next shoe style is colorful so bright 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 it is no secret that color is in for the spring and summer but if you're someone who you shy away from color not like me I'm wearing this literally bright pink well it looks like a top but it's actually a maxi dress from H&M by the way I did a really lovely collaboration with them over on my Instagram if you guys haven't seen the pictures I'll have a link to my Instagram in the description bar below I think you should go and check them out like comment and everything I really loved that campaign and it was amazing to work with such a big brand that I've loved like H&M anyway I'm digressing but yeah if you're someone who likes neutrals then adding a pop of color in your shoes or your bags is definitely the way to go so I have a lot of bright shoes I have a lot you guys can see them here so the first pair are these which are from mango I think I actually got these last summer and I wore these so much I have a few pictures of me wearing them over on my Instagram absolutely adore them and they're so comfortable so comfortable I think I even got my mom a pair of these but these are perfect because if you're wearing like an all neutral outfit this really bright lime green just adds that pop of color so you're still on trend you still have that unique piece but you're still comfortable in your clothing in that you're in your neutral palette that you like the next shoe that I have are these orange sandal heels which are from warehouse I recently picked these up and absolutely love them I mean orange is I think orange has replaced red as my favorite color or orange on dark skin like just just amazing and once again really really lovely way to add a pop of color to your wardrobe and these are so comfortable because the heel isn't too high either so you can definitely wear them during the daytime but then dress them up for the evening time as well the next shoe style is the low or kitten heel especially when paired with the pointed heel so there are these Prada sort of they are kitten heels or I think you can also get them in flat and they're very very pointed now I love pointed shoes but once again if you're someone like me who has bigger feet then pointed shoes just elongate your feet so although I love them it has to be the right point so that it still looks cute and just doesn't make me look like I have a long ass foot so I do have my eye on those Prada ones because they do look very scrumptious and they have them in an array of colors I've seen them in blues I've seen them in white and in orange oh, the orange one amazing the low heels I have to share with you here are from naked fashion if you follow me on Instagram once again you would have seen me wear these um, these are so comfortable and I love the fact that they're in a neutral color these are I think the only white heels that I have and white heels are another pair of heels that I think you need in your wardrobe because if you're someone like me that you like to wear bright colors you need a pair of white heels and a pair of black heels to go with your bright colored clothing I think it's very important to you can do a whole colorful outfit but to make the outfit look a bit more like put together I think having those little pop of neutrals does help and then the last shoe style are sandals specifically chunky dad sandals the chunky sandal trend is still here to my dismay because once again like a lot of these like chunky heels platform heels they are not big girl feet friendly at all I think last year I did get a pair of chunky heels from H&M and it was it was a no it was an absolute write-off but if they look good on you then I definitely think pick them up if not I think a good pair of simple leather sandals are something that you need so the Iran sandals from Hermes super popular and they have them in an array of colors or even YSL has a really lovely pair of sandals I forgot the name but once again they also come in an array of colors Tory Burch as well I have Tory Burch sandals I need to find those sandals I really need to find those sandals because I don't know where they are and they are one of my favorite sandals but Tory Burch do sandals really really well and if you live in the UK get your Tory Burch sandals from the Bista Village outlet because they're always there or even the outnet has a few I'll link them in the description bar below the sandals I have today are these ones from warehouse so these are made from leather yeah 100% leather and they are so comfortable they have them in this color I think they also have them in a tan brown color and they also have them in this nude off-white color 
super comfortable super affordable definitely get them in leather because they will last you for longer like Tory Burch ones have lasted years I have other leather sandals but I've never had a pair of black leather sandals which is why I thought to get these ones but once again I will link these and any alternatives I've spoken about in the description bar below moving on to the bags now if you have been a long-term watcher of my channel it is no secret that I am a fan of raffia bags as you can see here and as you can see here so my Loewe basket bag for First of all, it's definitely my go-to bag. I think everyone needs a basket bag in spring and summer. You don't have to go for the Loewe basket bag because I've said this before, this bag is definitely overpriced for what it is, but it all depends on cost per wear. The amount of wear I've gotten from this bag, I think my cost per wear is probably down to about 50 pence or even less because whenever it's spring and summer, this is literally my go-to bag. This is my go-to bag and I think everyone needs that go-to bag and because of that, the price for me was, it was just a now on top of this this is like a medium sized one and then I also have this large one which is from Tory Burch so if you guys saw my Vista Village haul you would have seen this I got this from an absolute bargain and the thing I really like about this one is that it has a little bit of a pocket here and it also comes with a pouch as well but i haven't used it yet because i got it in winter which is why all the wrapping is still on it so both of these bags that i'm sharing are more on the expensive slash luxury side but i do have some alternatives for you that are a bit more affordable i also have this raffia bag which once again is from warehouse oh i think i just hit myself but yeah this one as well which i recently got from warehouse and i haven't used it yet but i really love the style of it and this was so inexpensive like so 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 inexpensive um, the handles are real leather as well and it's in this wonderful um, raffia detailing and it's just so amazing super super easy to use and very very affordable as well I think everyone needs a raffia bag even the girls who say that they're not the raffia bag type of girls once they get a raffia bag because I've seen it once they get it they realize what they've been missing out on because it's just such a practical bag for spring and summer and I've seen people I wouldn't but I've even seen people use them as like shopping bags in um, autumn and winter as well the next bag style I think you need in your spring summer wardrobe is a neutral bag so this can either be in black although I think black is a bit harsh for spring and summer which is why I opted for this off-white cream one once again from warehouse and this is in real leather the one thing I really liked about this is I know the chunky um, sort of Sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain freeze here. The chunky uh, handle? Chunky strap, chunky, that's it. I know the chunky strap <laughs> was obviously made popular by Bottega Veneta. And although people have said that it's going away, I've definitely seen like there are some new release uh, Fendi bags that have it on there. So I think it's still here to stay. This one has this uh, chunky gold strap here. I'm a gold type of girl, so that works for me. But then it also has the long strap. So I really like that because you can either wear it with a long strap or you can top the or you can tuck the long strap in the bag and then just wear it with this for like the evening time next up are unique style bags because summer is definitely that time of the year where you can play with those unique dainty sort of bags so i have two hair first one is the speeded bag this is also from warehouse and i have something similar also from i think zara as well i just love beaded bags i think it's the west african in me there are so many amazing artisans in west africa just on the whole continent of africa that do these sort of beaded bags and they do like a lot of these basket bags as well and i just love the style now obviously the size of this bag is quite impractical if i've been honest like it probably will just fit like my phone and not much else but this is definitely a bag that i would use while i'm on holiday because while you're on holiday you're not going to be using a lot of things and with your cute little maxi dress or your cute little holiday outfit it will just go so so well the next one i have is this jacques mousse bag absolutely this was one of the best bargain bags that i got and this is definitely an impractical bag like it doesn't even fit my phone this is definitely one of those bags that is more for like if i'm trying to take a picture or once again if i'm on holiday but i still think you need that that sort of unique bags that are like you know they're kind of impractical but they take your outfit once again from like a seven to a 15 and then lastly similar to the shoes i think you definitely need a pop of color 
bag so this bag style is definitely Bottega Veneta inspired but the thing I like about this is that this is more of a dupe rather than a replica because you can see that it's definitely not Bottega Veneta but you can see that it's been inspired by it and I absolutely love the color this once again is from warehouse and the color is stunning they have these in a lot of different colors they have it in this blue they have it in a lime green I think also orange and a yellow super super affordable and just like this would be such a good color blocking moment but yeah I really really love this and the reason why I picked it up is because I've been thinking about getting a uh, luxury designer bag in this color but whenever I think about getting designer bags in like a bright color I always try to get like a high street version first see if I get a lot of wear out of it if I don't already if I haven't already had one and then um, decide whether I want to jump the gun the next one I have also falls into the unique because it has this really big handle and also the bright uh, bag side of things that I've been talking about so it's from a brand called Hearst I actually got this in Norway I think about two years ago real calf skin leather and just so gorgeous and once again orange you gotta love orange and it is one of the colors or I think it's actually the it color orange and lilac for spring summer 2022 and then lastly I have this makeup or cosmetic pouch from warehouse once again in real leather for your purses or your card holders or little coin purses or makeup bags I always try to get them in a really bright color so that when I'm putting them in my actual bag they're easy to find because if they're in like a neutral color I don't know about you guys but for me it's super hard to find them obviously this is a bit larger so it'll be easier to find but like my card holders and things like that if they're in black they're just harder to find especially if you have a bigger bag I know small bags are in right now but bigger bags are definitely coming back and to help you guys actually find things definitely get all your little coin purses and things like that in a bright color so those are all the shoes and the bag styles I think you need in your spring summer water wardrobe like I said before I'll make sure everything is linked in the description bar below so that if there is anything that you do want to purchase um, you can do so but before you purchase anything new just look through your own wardrobe you might already have some of these items in your wardrobe already reuse rewear is the way going forward so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed and you got to the end of the video I think you like me so click that subscribe button also click that notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me like I said before this is part of my spring summer edit week so I'm uploading every single day this week Week. so definitely make sure you have your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my other uploads and if you like this video I think you might like this video here or possibly this video here click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you I hope you have a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video catch me again ahead tomorrow for the next video from my spring summer um, edit fashion no wait from from my spring summer edit week yeah, that's correct, I think. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.